Welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, I'm just going to have a short, it's another movie review, a short one about Black Widow. That's right, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff from the Avengers. Her movie finally has been released and is at the time of this recording. At the uh, July 2021, it's in movie theaters. And it, I believe you can also watch it for a premium price on Disney+. Plus. Um, so yes, I just got out of the theater watching Black Widow. And, well, to be honest, like I've, I've enjoyed most, almost all the Avengers movies. There's some that weren't all that good. Thor Dark World is kind of there towards the bottom. Um, there's a couple other ones out of all of them, but I was looking last year, especially when this was originally supposed to be released, I was really looking forward to it. But honestly now, I mean, after watching it, the movie kind of was boring, to be honest. It was, I'm, I'm just calling out. I mean, it really was. It was kind of boring. Not so much that there wasn't action and things like that, but <clears throat> the film, the movie, it's, um... It's like an afterthought. You know, this film, this movie would have been a lot better a few years ago uh, if they released it released it before, you know, the in -game, Infinity War and Endgame, sometime in, there, in between there. Um, it would have been felt more a part of the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe instead of now, it feels like an afterthought. Uh, the story, it takes place shortly after the events of Captain America's Civil War. Uh, Nat Natasha, she's on the run from General Ross, who is hunting down the Avengers, who took on Tony Stark and um, all part of that, the S Sokovia Accords and yada, yada, yada. She goes back to Europe and ends up for her sister, well, you learn later on, it wasn't necessarily her real sister, but anyway, <clears throat> sends her something very important, and she comes across it. She goes, tries to track down her sister, and uh, one event leads to another, and so on and so forth. Character-wise, like her younger sister, Elena, I did really enjoy her. I enjoyed her character. Um... But there were some other characters, they were just totally underutilized, or they were they were made to be something they really aren't. It didn't feel right. Um, the Red Guard character, played by, I can't think of the actor's name, but he plays Hop Hopper on Stranger Things. He was just totally, all he was was the comic relief of the movie. He was kind of wasted, in all honesty. Uh, he was supposed to be the Russian version of Captain America. And he was totally played for nothing more than comic relief, honestly. That was it. Um, so that was under underutilized character. Also, the one of the villains, people are calling the Taskmaster. I don't know if that's what it's actually listed in the credits or not. But that character was underutilized and was also not a very, honestly, a very good villain for the most part. <laughs> they were wasted. The main villain, the guy who run who runs the the red room, I mean he was a villain, but uh, I mean he, <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't a villain that you really felt threatened by or anything like that. Uh, for the people there and the the girls and the women under his control, yes. But anyway, like I said at the beginning, I mean I. I did kind of enjoy the movie. I mean, it was a nice way to spend an afternoon. However, I was kind of bored by it. It just, you know, two years ago, three years ago, when this film probably should have been released right before, they should have made it <clears throat> earlier and given Black Widow her own movie and released it before Infinity War at some point. This would have felt, you know, connected and a part of everything, but... You know, the Infinity War, that, that ser saga, that series, is it's done now. All those characters, for the most part, they're over. They moved on. That saga is over. And, you know, 
they're building, trying to build towards a new one. But in all honesty, due to everything that's happened in the real world and everything else, I don't know if, you know, the movie world where I will be able to attain the, the zenith ever again, you know, that happened with Endgame. So, I mean, if you've enjoyed all the other Marvel movies, if you like Black Widow, you might like this. Although, you know, they do kind of... <laughs> If you know anything about the comics, they do a little playing around with her backstory. So you may not. I don't know. But, you know, as a person who's enjoyed all the Marvel films and was invested in those over the years, that 11 year time span, you know, this one was like, hmm, okay. It was, it's kind of like some of the, you know, the shows on Disney Plus. I mean, some of them are, have been kind of interesting, but. You know, there's when you think about it over the long term, it's, they're kind of forgettable. They don't they don't really build to anything. They're not all that exciting as exciting anymore. At least that's just my opinion. I don't. You might have another one. So let me know what you think in the comments. You know, have you seen Black Widow? Did you enjoy it? Um, did you not enjoy it? If you didn't enjoy, if you did not enjoy it, let me know why. If you did enjoy it, you know, let me know why too. What's, and you know, if you want to tell me, let me know what one of your favorite Marvel movies are or is, you know, let, let me know in the comments below as well. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land where we've gone to the movies. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and to ring that bell for email notifications. And if you'd like to support, if you've enjoyed any of the videos, any of the adventures in TV land, one of these movie ones or one of the more travel-based videos, whatnot, you can now support the channel by going to buy me a coffee and you can make for just as low as $1, you can help support adventures in TV land. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.